Good day and welcome to our short explanation and demonstration of both how and why you would want to set breaks in a YouTube video. So if you're wondering what I'm talking about, let's take a look at a video we have right now. So here we have a video that uh, our sister site Partisan Issues has produced and you'll notice along the bottom there are no breaks on it. And that's fine, all right, they don't have to be there. Uh, they're not even recommended. Uh, YouTube doesn't make any particular push for them. However, like a lot of things, YouTube really does want you to do these because what it does is separate the hacks from the professionals. If you put these breaks in explaining what's in your content, two things will happen. One, there will be a segment for YouTube to, to flip directly to uh, from a search, and that is a valuable thing. The second thing that will happen is that the all of the key points in your video will be uh, emphasized for Google uh, YouTube to index on. So let's show you how to create those breaks, which have that third benefit, of course, which is the actual consumer gets to uh, the actual viewer, uh, gets to skip to your video to the parts that they may care about. So let's just take a quick look at how to do that. It's not very hard. So here is the video in question. Uh, that we have, and this is uh, about a 12-minute long video. And what we need to do is set those breakup uh, points uh, along the bottom in the timeline. So let's get to doing that. It's very straightforward, really. What you want to do is upload your video, and you also want to play the video at the same time so that you can figure out the times to do this yourself manually. So what I do is I just simply do a split screen. Uh, there we go, and I'm going to take that. So what you need to do is go to the description uh, field of the video details, as you can see here. Uh, leave at least one space, it could be more, but leave at least one, and put in a description of what's on the screen at this point. So our introduction starts at zero. Everything starts at zero, by the way. So what you need to do is write something like this. Introduction, zero, zero. That's the format. Okay. Now, I don't actually just want introduction. I would like to use some more keywords that Google and YouTube, and for that matter, other search engines are going to key on. So in this case, I'm going to say uh, Commodore, whoops, 64 versus Intel i7. And I'll call that introduction. There we go. Let's listen to a bit of this and we'll flip through it and create the video uh, create this list on the fly, and we'll show you how these segments along the bottom get added. Use old data to promote their own. Apparently, though, this is news to many electric vehicle critics. So here I've got old data applied to new EVs, and that started at about uh, 12 seconds. So we've got zero, 12. Let's keep going claims that electric vehicle a few days all right so 34 let's listen to a couple of parts and we're going to pull it apart step by step Okay, so I'm going to change that because I like that better. I'm going to change that to 51. There we go. Now you can see we can just keep going through here. Regular cars run on gasoline. Now I know that there's a segment here I'm just going to skip because there's this whole bit about electric cars are just coal powered cars. First, there's the energy needed. To are just maliciously and intentionally wrong. Let's get through it and go through these claims one by one. The okay, here's a good segment. Does not have to be capitalized, but I've decided to do that. Uh, just to give you a, a sense of where we are, I'm going to save that and then not wait at all. I'm just going to refresh this. 
Mad Hyundai when and the temperature we get an drops, out of we like to heat lovely. things up with the hottest <laughs> lineup sales event. Get go. How's that Let's see these segments? working out for you? The pace of technology changes very fast. Last year's that works? problems are resolved this Pretty cool, year, huh? And we'll get even better in two years. So that's good for the user. And that's also good for our friends at YouTube. And well, for that matter, Bing and everywhere else. Um, it's good for the consumer. Uh, and it does set you apart from the hacks. These guys just throw up videos that uh, don't have any real polish or finish to them. And Google is gonna take that into account. It's just like adding an alt tag to a graphic on a web page. These are extra details that pros uh, bother to put in and hacks don't. And Google prefers pros. So I'm gonna finish this off quickly. You won't have to sit and watch. We'll just, then we'll just skip through it and show you what it, it finishes up like. just fundamentally wrong because EVs okay so here we're done let's uh take a and quick look at what this looks like i'm going to click save i've got my uh, insanely long list here uh done uh normally i don't break it up this much uh but there were a lot of key words i wanted to make sure that google was taking uh you know more interest in and yes by the way their own systems will automatically transcribe them so there's, you know, they already know the content. This is really about how much effort you're willing to put in. Let's uh, refresh this page now. I've saved this on the left panel. Let's go to the right panel and refresh. Okay, and you can see here, see the text at the bottom? So EV owners mostly get their electricity from solar panels. Where lithium comes from, how it's produced, you know, what's coming in the future. So this is just so much easier for a consumer to, uh, you know, a viewer to get through. They can look at all of these details and uh, skim through it if they want. But again, really for me, this is mostly about uh, Google and indexing. Okay, well, if you like this video, please click like below. And if you like these kinds of topics, please click subscribe. Uh, other than that, uh, that's about it. If you have any questions or concerns, please get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. Thank you. Bye-bye.